going on, Doombots? Tony Skinchili here with video number two. You thought I was kidding. Nope. Every character starting with A. We did Adam Warlock, and now we're going to move to Agent Coulson. So, for those who aren't aware, a little bit of backstory. Agent Coulson was a character created specifically for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, or Earth 1999-999. A lot of nines in it. Basically, the year Iron Man was created. Uh, and he was created as kind of a named character that the audience can kind of grow with. That's when he was made first available in uh, Iron Man. And you saw him through most of the MCU up to Avengers, where he was killed by Loki. And then he got his own spinoff TV show that was kind of in the same universe and then wasn't, then was, then wasn't Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., wasn't a terrible show, had its ups and downs. Check it out if you're interested. It's available on some streaming service at any given time whenever you watch this video. But uh, he's basically a, a high-ranking S.H.I.E.L.D. official within the confines of S.H.I.E.L.D. in the MCU. But uh, after his release in the MCU, Marvel, as they tend to do, uh, will implement that character into their comics. So in November of 2011... Agent Coulson uh, got a brief foray into the comic book world in a series called Battle Scars. It was a six-issue miniseries that just kind of went into more details about the character of Agent Coulson, what he is, uh, how much he had to do with S.H.I.E.L.D.'s uh, growth and, and what they were working on. Basically, just backstory on a character that previously didn't exist inside of the realm of Marvel. Uh, and he really doesn't have any powers, per se, but he is a highly trained operative who has a metal arm that's more of an MCU thing than a comic thing. But he's just hand-to-hand -hand combat, weapons training, kind of uh, the same thing you'd expect Maria Hill, a little bit less leadership and training, and a little bit more combat training and operative training. So that's Agent Coulson in a nutshell, and I'll put links in the description below about uh, his comic book, and I'm not going to link movies to you. I'm sure you can watch them if you haven't already. But now let's talk about Coulson the game. When Coulson was released, he was kind of the missing piece of the S.H.I.E.L.D. puzzle. Uh, the S.H.I.E.L.D. Fury S.H.I.E.L.D. team had come out, and it was pretty much the best team in the game. It was great at raids, great in war, great in arena. Uh, just could really be stopped. And it was part of a rocks, paper, scissor for a very long time that was uh, Fury S.H.I.E.L.D., the Marauders, and then for a lot of people, the Defenders, because a lot of people had a high investment in Defenders. Uh, Fury Shield could easily beat the Defenders. Uh, the uh, Fury Shield would lose consistently to the Brotherhood team, and the Defenders had the opportunity to beat the Brotherhood, just it wasn't that easy. It required a lot of investment. So there was a really interesting Rock, Paper, Scissor meta going on very early in the game. Anyway, that's enough about Shield. They introduced Agent Coulson to give new life into Shield as a war defense team uh and he kind of took on a lot of what the shield minions did that he would be replacing but also added a little bit of extra bonus to it just take a quick look at his kit you could see that whenever his health dropped below 50 percent uh shield medic speed bar got up it was really great synergy between him and shield medic pretty much the entire game shield medic also guaranteed to revive him whenever she used her heal so if he happened to die He'd be right back. That's kind of a little meme regarding how it worked in the, the movie to the TV series. Uh, on War Defense, and he was one of the first characters to get a ridiculously powerful War Defense kit. The other characters got War Kits, but they were usually War Offense, like Namor. 40% uh, max health. Shield allies get 40% max health. On spawn, apply immunity to all shield allies, gain 120% resistance. Literally an insane passive. Uh, that made it so like, wow, I'm going to definitely use this guy on defense. But outside of that specifically, he actually had a pretty decent kit. Uh, apply offense to all shield allies on war defense. Clear positive effects. Apply defense down and taunt to the enemy with the most damage. Kind of like how War Machine worked. Pretty decent attack and call an ally with the highest damage, not most damage, uh, to attack an enemy with the highest damage on the other team. Uh, EMP punch. Uh, attack everybody basically just the target gets attacked for the most and on defense transfer positive effects basically the same way that operative works steal the effects and move it on reasonable character on the shield team really created a very meaningful power 
up that for a long time was almost impossible to beat without utilizing one of the two best teams in the game, the Uncanny X-Men or maybe a different Fury Shield on offense. Uh, but they really did prevent people from beating them. Eventually, the Brotherhood got reworked, became a little bit better at beating them. But for a while, the Colson Fury Shield team was one of the best defenses. So good that no one would even agree what the best version of that team was because they were all so close to each other. Uh, time passed and the Fury Shield team just became easier to beat as better war offense teams came out. So... We ended up getting a little bit more clever with Coulson. You started seeing him being used in a weird Inhumans Coulson combo, mainly because characters like Yo Yo and Quake were also shield tagged. Uh, you would throw in a shield medic to keep Coulson alive and then utilize Black Bolt, Yo Yo, Crystal if you wanted. Some people used Quake. Um, some people used Nick Fury anyway and made Nick Fury, Coulson, Black Bolt. Inhumans, whatever teams. And this team, even to this day, right now, is the time of this video, is still fairly popular on defense just because of uh, what it does, how quickly it can put damage out and kind of mess with the flow of the game. Uh, but overall, Coulson is one of those characters that a lot of people wanted to be better than he was. Uh, he really didn't shine in anything in particular. Now, he is a hero, global tech character, global pretty reasonable where you can utilize him you can use him in some of the dark dimensions that have global specificity uh you can utilize him in the global lane of the gamma raid uh, which i'm sorry alpha raid which was actually reasonable at the time considering fury shield was still a reasonable team he just gave them a little bit more oomph if that makes sense uh, a controller as you know controllers are the most popular types of characters in the game so isos on controllers tend to be a little bit lower but he was from a time before isos anyway uh he has the avenger tag and the shield tag those two tags kind of mattered a little bit for gamma raid and uh eventually for beta with tech but he was a great option but he was never uh, a great character so if you happen to work on colson you would use him and then say like oh yeah look how good my colson was that's a trap he was basically just a war defense character, and he was so good on war defense, and because of how uh, likely it was that, to have him res from a shield medic, uh, he didn't even need a lot of investment because he was doing the damage from the rest of his characters. So a lot of people, like myself, didn't really invest too much in Agent Coulson because they didn't need a strong Coulson. The team around him was what was causing the wins. He was just facilitating their success. Uh, now, with the exception of that war defense team the black bolt fury colson which even now isn't used that often with the existence of kestrel you don't get much value out of colson anymore uh at his absolute best he represented one of the best war defense teams uh on offense he loses as you saw quite a bit of value and he just didn't really capture anything not a the least of which, the fact that he was a milestone character, and I believe 180 shard unlock originally, making him hard to get for a lot of players who just didn't quite see the value. So, in a story of haves versus have-nots, uh, nobody really made out better from having Coulson. And then, you have present day game where, with the one exception, you really can't justifiably invest in him. As a tech character, there are so many better tech characters, and that gear is so much more useful on other people. Uh, the superior shield tech is used for characters like Kestrel, as well as some of the newer characters that have come out, like Maria Hill. Uh, it, it, it's, it's hard to justify any investment in him. You can use one you've already invested in, but you would not be going out of your way to invest in this character. So, unfortunately, he is probably a B-tier character on a you know scale. Uh, there are so many better tech and global characters. There are better Avenger and S.H.I.E.L.D. characters to work on. And all those tags, uh, they don't really overlap in a way that makes, well, at least if I work on him, like, you know, a character like Zemo, uh, I'm gonna get, or Black Widow, I'm gonna get a lot of value out of him. You're really not gonna get much. You can use one already invested in and stuff, but you wouldn't necessarily be bringing him to 15 for for DD4. He doesn't do anything independently that makes him amazing, especially in the global lanes where it's very competitive. There's a lot of good global characters. Uh, not really worth your ISOs. B-tier character, you get what you get with him. Uh, I don't consider B-tier characters to be bad. They're kind of like, you know, a little bit average. 
Uh, especially since we're not reviewing minions, because why would we? But, uh, reasonable. Don't go out of your way to unlock him. He's just been added to, I believe, the Blitz store. Don't go out of your way for him. You'll pick him up through random Blitz orbs as you go through. Uh, kind of skippable overall. Anyway, that's Agent Coulson for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, comment below let me know if you happen to have a strong Agent Coulson that's being useful right now outside of, as we said, war defense. But uh, I, I haven't seen many people with a Coulson worth talking about in the last couple years. But he's only ever one rework away from being meta, as we saw with characters like Nebula and Gamora. Anyway, have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scangeli, and I will catch you later.